Algorand explained what is Algorand token, Algorand coin, Algorand review, Algo coin, Algo crypto. Software engineer explains. All right, so if you're interested in Algorand, then you might also be interested in its brother, or why I think it's its brother, and that's Elrond. And I made a video right there, so check it out if you haven't already. But both Algorand and Elrond, they both solve the problems that Ethereum presents, which is scalability issues. So as we're gonna go through this white paper today, I just really want you to focus that Algorand is really mostly about security. It is more secure based on the way it chooses its validators, which is also a way that is adopted by Elrond. So as I'm explaining it, know that the big selling point here is security, which in some cases, security is a really big thing. Like banks and private companies, security is huge. So that's really the main advantage that I see with Algorand. But anyways, we'll talk about that some more in the video, but for right now, if you can, please smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and now we can jump into Algorand. I gotta say that the white paper is really, really detailed, but everything you need to know is really in the first 10 pages because the rest of the 65 pages, it's a 75 page document, really is just a mathematical proof to explain the protocol and how it works. Much of which would not be useful to any investor because they wouldn't understand any of it. That said, let's start off by explaining the problem. So right now the problem is that money is basically virtual today. An estimated 80% of US dollar today only exist in ledger entries. Bitcoin and Ethereum as decentralized currencies have a shared ledger that reliably records transactions in a tamper-proof way. Now, Bitcoin's proof-of-work mechanism, by default, concentrates power in a few hands. That is, those hands that have money and hash power in order to set up the mining rigs to mine for Bitcoin. Algorand is different. Algorand uses an algorithmic randomness to select who gets to verify the next block in the blockchain. Whereas Bitcoin's proof-of-work to generate blocks require a lot of computing power. And as more users join the network, the more power would be needed by Bitcoin to process those transactions. Now computing power to mine for Bitcoin is very concentrated because people right now, nowadays they need expensive mining rigs in order to mine for Bitcoin. And let's not ta even talk about the energy that is needed. Now Algorand is different. In layman terms, the amount of computation needed is small, no matter how many users are in the system. So a new block is generated in less than 10 minutes. The power resides with the users. There are no miners like Bitcoin. It uses what's called a Byzantine agreement protocol to reach agreement. The protocol would randomly choose state coins to verify five blocks like we're selecting a jury for a trial any citizen of a country can usually be picked to act in a jury in a trial everybody hates jury duty but if you're picked you gotta go do it and algorand is made to operate securely even if at a given point in time the majority of the players are malicious basically how the algorithm works is that a user is selected as the leader who proposes and circulates a new block for the blockchain then a randomly selected committee or jury is selected each time a new block block is proposed and made and they sign off on it. So it's like the leader is like the lawyer presenting the evidence and the jury will look over, that committee will look over that evidence and sign off on it. So let's talk about Algorand's main difference compared to Bitcoin and that is Algorand's peer proof of stake. Every token holder with at least one algo in their account can choose to participate in the staking process. In which case, they can be randomly selected to propose a new block or to verify a new block that will be added to the blockchain. The more tokens held, the more chance you have of proposing or verifying a new block. It's like a lottery. The more lottery tickets you have, the higher chance you have of winning. For each block or round of the blockchain, a new lottery is done. To select new winners or stakers, they'll verify and sign the new blocks in order to earn rewards, which is more algo. Again, since they select the verifiers randomly, the set of verifiers are always different or independent from the last set. And it doesn't depend on any collaboration of nodes, so any new nodes that join will not affect the speed of the protocol, which is important. Now, Algorand's version of proof of stake is supposedly very secure because any attacker cannot know who the verifier are before they verify, because the verifiers are chosen randomly. This whole entire thing promotes decentralization because anyone can participate in the consensus mechanism, and users can participate through the use of participation nodes, and nodes will all submit their votes to the network. Now another plus for Algorand's proof of stake are that transactions are cheaper and faster. They only need a five second confirmation time and the average fee is 
pretty much less than one one thousandth of a dollar. Like in the white paper and other blockchains, the incentive mechanisms are pretty well thought out. If you have a small stake, then it's relatively hard to harm the system. And if you have a very large stake, then it wouldn't be beneficial for you at all to harm the system. In both cases, if the user acts maliciously, either nothing will happen or they're going to hurt themselves. It's all basically a probability game. If there was an attacker and they want to influence the verifiers to act based on what they want, they will have an extremely low probability of figuring out who the verifiers are until the verifiers have verified a block by signing it. And by that point, it's too late for the attacker to influence the verifier. All right, guys, quick pause. There's two things you have to do if you haven't already done so. One, find a network. If you don't have a network, then your net worth is going to stay where it is because your network is your net worth. And if you need to find one, then join our Discord server because what we're doing there is we're discussing cryptos, different outs that we're looking at, different prices that we want to enter. And we're helping each other as a support group on passing the scary times in the market because scary times do happen and a support group would really help you to really hold your coin instead of selling them low because you don't want to sell low you want to buy low and sell high that's what you want to do second thing you want to do is if you don't already have a Webull account get a Webull account and deposit a hundred dollars because doing that will give you a hundred dollars no it doesn't give you a hundred dollars it gives you two free stocks even better because you can then sell those two free stocks to get some money in order to buy the cryptos Bitcoin Ethereum that you're interested in so if you haven't already done so then check out the description below because I have the links below to join our discord server to get those two free stocks so do that now now let's talk about the algorand architecture now algorand uses a dual layer system layer one is used for simple on-chain smart contracts for example post and sale transactions securitized loans crowdfunding swaps etc layer two is off-chain and it is reserved for the more complex smart contracts algorand also has something called co-chain which are private blockchains that are built on algorand these chains are only accessible to the people who have access to them. For example, companies or governments. Co-chains are able to talk to other co-chains on Algorand so companies can share what they want and keep private what they want. So here's my opinion on Algo. The biggest problem they solve is security and speed. It's really hard for an attacker or a hacker to hack or break into the system. And transactions are cheaper and faster with a five second confirmation time and fees of less than one one thousandth of a dollar. They also use a dual layer system to keep the speed up. The protocol decides how to treat a smart contract. If it is simple, let's keep it on chain. If it is complex, let's do it off chain. It's a good project, don't get me wrong, but it just doesn't get me excited. And when it comes to investing in things, the criteria that I have when it comes to investing in things is as follows. Does it get me excited? Is it infrastructure that other decentralized applications or people can build on and can it affect millions and billions of people? And three, do I see an easy route to a 10x potential here? And when it comes to Algorand, the fact is that it doesn't get me excited. It can potentially be infrastructure. With code chains that allow other companies to build blockchains on top of Algorand that keeps the private data that they want to keep private, private. And the public data that they want to keep public, public. But who are the competitors when it comes to this? Now, if we talk about off-chain data, people will use something like Chainlink. There is no question there. Otherwise, why won't people just build on Polygon or something? Since Polygon can still work on Ethereum and Ethereum is secure. It's been around for a long time. It has a huge community of developers and it's like a blue chip. I think what's important is you really have to think about how easy it is for companies and Algorand itself the community to find software developers willing to work and learn Algorand. I don't know how big the Algorand community is, so I wouldn't be able to say I haven't researched it. But personally, from a feeling that is very not factual, I think that Algorand isn't drawing as much attention from blockchain developers as let's say the big ones like Ethereum, maybe Polygon, Chainlink, and there's only a limited supply of software developers in the world. And I gotta say that developing on Ethereum is just more lucrative right now, and it might stay that way for a long time. Now, I haven't checked the headlines, I haven't checked the partners, but I'm assuming that Algorand has quite a lot of partners. But if they can get the big partners, the big companies, the big governments to build on Algorand, then it will have insane potential. I just don't see it in the news yet. So as discussed above, I don't see it as an easy 10x potential. When compared to things like Amp, Hot, and Matic, those guys just really don't really have competition right now. And the market that they're niching down on is all theirs. Whereas for Algorand, they have a competition. It's called Elrond. And also, I don't see any competitors coming up right now and trying to steal market share and attention away from Hot, Amp, and Matic. Now that being said, all of what I just said are just conspiracy theories. And it's just my opinion. I could be completely wrong because I am still very 
very new with Algorand, as all I did is just read the white paper. Again, I can be completely wrong, which is why I always say my famous disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. I'm just some Asian YouTube guy. If you're going to invest, do your own research and due diligence because my advice can get you completely wrecked. With that said, if you have been in Algo for a hot minute and know more than what we've discussed today, then please be sure to drop your knowledge bombs down in the comments below because I believe that the community would all appreciate that. So that's it for today. If you picked up something from today's video, then please be sure to smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, check out these other videos on cryptocurrencies and passive income, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.